been talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? Damn. So, you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? You know she's a synth. We're supposed to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. I should Curie, see this through. Terminate all non-essential operations. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. I should see this through. <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. You had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was, was on his Carl bed, there. very weak. Well, I mean, I he said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling yeah. grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but in, uh, there... My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. I heard about your signal interceptor. Hey. Now that you have a statement from the mayor's office. You know, it's, uh... Well, I mean, it just it just says here there's uh, nothing to worry about, that it's, you know, safe and all, everybody. Kind of. It's crazy stuff, right? I mean, weird. Anyway, it's, uh, well, it's, it's something to think about, I guess. So, uh, Magnolia, you know, from Good Neighbor? She was uh, nice enough to let us uh, play some of her uh, her songs. Uh, there's not a lot of people whose songs we play who are still alive, so there's a lot of pressure. Here we go, the Magnolia. Found the Institute. Me, it is hard I to hope determine you do the whether right the thing. surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks, but a preparation plan is never a bad idea. Who 
Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? Heard what you did. Save that Rex Goodman from the super mutants. Yes, not everyone appreciates the power. Oh, a new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. I've got a few minutes to browse. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Vault suit, huh? Classy. We're hot! Engaging defensive gun yeah. Have it your way. Someone there! This is... What? I hear something. 
Over here. One of my duties is to sell. Noises, huh? What's that? Yes? <laughs> Ball game? How exciting! No. What kind of person pals around with a robot? Oh my god. You're not a synth, are you? Officer? I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that settlement on the coast, wiped out by synths. You know what you're looking for? We Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you got. Here you are. Another, uh, an another good one. Another good one from uh, Betty Hutton. Diamond City Surplus! Open 24 hours! Here's a thing, a, a sort of a note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City, and I'll, um, I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. <laughs> John and Kathy Super Salon invites you to try out the latest innovations in hairstyles. Look good. Want to do something Make fun? Make people jealous. Run oh. the bases. Trust me. What time is it? Why, it's time for a whole lot of shaking. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. The next song? I thought I would try something there. Probably well, didn't work. Dead. You? <laughs> I don't know you. From yeah. Just keep it just in here. song. Bail me out. One Statue of David impression coming up. Good. Good. Now just answer me one simple question. Are you human? 
because I will not serve a synth. No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Hey, Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I've got a few minutes to browse. Just don't call it junk. Swatter. Got some great stuff, if you're interested. Let's see what you have. Self-defense at its best. The hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Thank you. It's like I can finally think Hi. straight. You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Westing had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. Hey, Mo. Remember, swatters will win you the game. The game of beating people up, that is. Let's see what you got. Baseball history. Right here. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... you mean it? Just don't turn into some damn Nuka-Cola hoarder. I won't. I mean, I might take a few bottles with me, but that's all. Kim I Care cares about you, all your medicinal needs. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. New issue of Public Occurrences, View from the Vault, an outsider's perspective on the Commonwealth. Ain't got nothing better to do? Nat. Read the paper, mister. Trust me.
Hey. May I be of assistance? 